We who are Protestants have 66 books in our Bible. There are 37 in the Old Testament and 29 in the New Testament, 66 in all. In 65 of those books, God is speaking to us, and only one are we speaking to God. That book is the book of Psalms. There are many different kinds of Psalms uh, in the Bible, 150 total. Uh, some of them are royal Psalms, some of them are songs of lament. Uh, uh, some of them have been classified as wisdom Psalms. Biblical scholars have gone through these Psalms and determined that these are to be called wisdom songs because they're very similar in their format to uh, other books in the Bible, uh, Job, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, even Song of Solomon. And wisdom psalms uh, tend to contrast uh, life choices, uh, those who reject God versus those who embrace the rule of God. Uh, the results are twofold. One, uh, those who live wisely result in having God's blessings. And uh, the other side of that is that uh, there's an unpleasant judgment uh, for uh, those who act very foolishly. The key concept in the Wisdom Psalms is, as it's said many times in, in these verses, the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Uh, it doesn't mean to be fr afraid of the Lord. It's simply to have a healthy and respectful attitude uh, towards the God whom we worship and adore. One of my favorite wisdom psalms is Psalm 19, uh, particularly the last verse in that psalm. It's one that many ministers use before they preach on Sunday mornings. Uh, and it is a scripture that I learned uh, many years ago uh, as a child. And that psalm says, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O God, my rock and my redeemer. This is a word that we say to the Lord, uh, not only as ministers, but that each one of us uh, as a follower of Jesus Christ should say every single day and make it a part of our lives.